Now the world's newest track and field sensation, Tajay Gale, jumped from being ordinary to extraordinary following his historic performance at the IWF World Championships on Saturday in Doha, Qatar, which has left his family beaming with pride. Shoshana McGowan caught up with his family and we'll hear from them in this report. At only 23 years old, world champion Tajay Gale created history on Saturday when he won Jamaica's first ever men's long jump gold medal at a major championship. Since his historic accomplishment, the world has been asking who Tajay Gale is and who better to enlighten us than his biggest supporter, his mother Naloni Linton. Gale attended Hope Valley Experimental School, then Papine High School, before making his way to the University of Technology through the guidance of his high school coach, Shaniki Osborne. Gail is the youngest of Linton's three children, and she was not surprised about his athletic abilities. Tajay Gail grew up always do some kind of illness, always I put the younger children, jump over them head, find him small. Yeah. That's how Tajay, always I do some illness. That's how Tajay is. For a lot of people who we have, Success is possible provided you have the right attitude and the right, the right mindset towards following instructions and, and, and stop worrying about the, the lifestyle which, which a lot of the other, their contemporaries focus on. Gail on Friday during the preliminaries was the last qualifier into the final. But Linton and her family, while watching, had no doubt Gail would have been on the podium. His stepdad tell me same win. Find him first jump in there, his stepdad say, the one first him win. His auntie had told us that he had already, he had already won from before. They prayed about it. They prayed about it yesterday, all his aunts. So he knew it was, he knew it was done from the first jump. The new sensation is from the tough community of African Gardens in Augustown, which is known for their high level of gun violence. Linton and her sister Ishana both are hoping the Golden Boy's success will help to impact change. Well, I don't mind it stop the shooting and everything, the violence we are going about here. I don't mind everybody just look on it and say, somebody good come from the ghetto. Yeah, and more greatness can come from the ghetto. Yes. Nobody does it but Father God. Nobody, and our mankind is. Only thing we don't want for the community right now, less violence and crime. My daughter, the Chuck and Field, Coach Asburn, is our coach, same way at Papi in high school. And trust me, he's a big, big influential for my daughter right now. Gail's 8.69 meters was beyond the current expectation of his coach, Stephen Francis. And he's beaming of what the future holds. For the new star boy. It was a sort of bee in my bonnet um, this season because I expected him to go to 8-4 because I think it was a it was a step towards next year and the year after being maybe the best jumper ever or one of certainly. Gail became the new national record holder after erasing the previous mark set back in 1997 by James Beckford. Trishana McGowan, TVJ Sports.